Welcome to VT Engineering class. In today's class, we'll be looking at uh, compound beam. Uh, <coughs> we'll be looking at how to calculate the reaction at each at uh, each support of the compound uh, beam. Before we go uh, further, let me just tell us a compound beam. So, uh, what is a compound beam? A compound beam is uh, <coughs> a smaller component of beam that is fasting and uh, assemble together to function as a what a single unit and a compound beam they are usually uh, assembled together by what internal inch you can see this is a uh, two beam that is joined together by internal inch this is internal inch this is the first beam while this one is the second beam you get that so now without wasting of our time the first thing to do when you see a question like this, is uh, you convert uh, your uniformly and distributed load to a what point load. After that, uh, you draw the free body diagram. When you draw the free body diagram, then you separate the beam. Then you solve <coughs> for the uh, for each support separately. You arrive at your answer. So let's go. So from my previous video, you already know. When you have a load like this that is a uh, trapezoid, uh, that is in form of trapezium <coughs> in nature, the first thing you do is you try to cut this portion like this from this straight so as to get your uniform distributed load. So you know uniform distributed load is from this point to this point, right? So and then how do we convert a point load? Uh, sorry, a uniform distributed load to a point load is we we'll consider the area of your what rectangle, which is length times breadth, which is equal to what length. So before we go into that, let me tell us uh, the length of each uh, this thing. From year to year is three meter. From year to year is one meter. From year to year is what three meter. From year to year is four meter. And the uh, height for the uniform distributed load is what. 2 kN and the height for this is what 8 kN per meter and this one is a point load which is 3 kN right so now the length of it means the length of this beam that we are seeing is what 3 plus 4 which is what 7 so it means 7 times the breadth which is the height of the one uniform distributed load that we want to convert to a point load so which is what 2 so which is 14 kN Hope you get that. And you know when you convert a uniform <coughs> distributed load to a point load, it's going to act at uh, the center of the length which it covers. You understand? So now let's convert this very distributed load now. For us to convert this very distributed load, we already know that from year to year is two, and from year to year is what eight. So for us to get the height now, it's going to be what eight minus two. Which is six, so it means this place the height of the uniform distributed load is what six, and you know it is in form of what a triangle. Have already we've already resolved this, so half base times what height, which is half times base. The base is what seven, that is the length seven times the height now, which is six. Two year one, two year three, three times seven is what 21 kilo newton. I hope you are getting this. So now the next thing that we are going to do is to know the length at which it at. And I always told you the first thing you do is you bring out your what angle 90. So now it's going to act at L over 3 away from what 90 degree. So L over 3. It means the total length, which is 7 divided by 3. If you do that, you are going to get what 2.3 2.3 meters. So it's acting at 2.3 meters away from what? 90 degree. So let's draw the free body diagram of the whole this thing now. So it's going to be like this. It's going to be like this. The first thing here, we are having a roller support which is going to have just one reaction, which is vertical reaction ROA. And this one is an inch support. It's going to have two reactions, that is vertical and uh, horizontal reaction. Is HB 
to get that. So now, let me draw this internal inch before I explain. So, we are also having full reaction here, which is a ROD. ROD also having HD. So, now the length of this is what? Seven. And when we convert this to a point loop, it's what? When we convert the uniform distributed to a point loop, it's 14. And it's going to act at the center. So let's put this here. It's acting at the center, which is 14 kN. So if it is like that, it means from this point to this point is what? 3.5. 3.5. So now, and the variable distributed, when we convert the point loop, it's 21. So it means it's acting at what? 2.3 away from 90 degrees. And you know the length of this place is what? <clears throat> from year to year is 7, right? So now it means if it is at 2.3 away from this, so it's going to be somewhere around here. Because this is my 90 degree here. So it's at 2.3 away. So 21 kN, which is at 2.3 away. So if that is that, it means the main point here is going to be what? 7 minus 2.3. 7 minus 2.3 is what? 4.7. So if you add this with this now, you get what? 7. How do you get that? So now, the next thing is this point load. So it's acting there. It's 3 kN. And uh, this 3 meter. And this 1 meter. This is C. <coughs> How do you get this? So. <coughs> And uh, this one is uh, 3 meter. 3 meter. I hope you get this. So now, the next thing now is to separate the beams. We separate the beams separately and we saw for each uh, support now. So now, we start with the upper. Now, let me explain this internal inch for you. This internal inch that I have seen, before two things can be before two magnets can attach each other. <coughs> you know, the law of magnetism, like pole up here, or like pole will what attract. That's just an example of what is happening here. They are just like, they have done together. And Newton told you, action and reaction are equal to what? Opposite. So it means that uh, for these two things to join together, if I'm going to draw the free body diagram, they must be opposite. Or, this one should be like this, or this one should be like this, any of the two, do you understand? So, now what if we get it? Now, if I want to separate the beam, I want to draw this one separately. So, instead of me doing this, like this, I'm going to explain this. So, this is RUD, this is HD, and here is acting at the center, 14 kN, which is 3.5 here. 3.5 here and this is 2.3 is 21 kN and from here it is what it is uh, 4.7 you get that so now instead of you writing drawing this inch again you will just pick any of this one maybe you put upward force or downward force but if you pick upward force for this you should know that if we, when you are right, when you are drawing this again, you are going to take it as what downward force. And if you pick it as downward force, yeah, <clears throat> when you are going to draw it again, you pick it as what upward force. But your calculation will tell you maybe you are right. If we, if we, if you get a positive answer for the reaction at this place, it means it, your assumption is correct. And if you get a negative answer, it means your assumption reverse is the case. Do you get that? So now I'm going to pick upward force here, means ROC. If it is correct, if it is positive, the answer is positive, it means it is correct. If it is negative, it means it should be a downward force. So now, the next thing is we are going to take summation of vertical force, sorry, of horizontal force. So let's pick our coordinates. This will be positive, which is zero. So we have any, okay, we have one. 
So it means I say this will arrow should like this should be what positive, but we are having arrow like this means minus HD, which is equal to zero. It still means that HD, HD is still equal to what? Zero. So now the next thing is to pick summation of upward force at its back that is <coughs> vertical forces. So this is my coordinate. I said my upward force should be positive. And we are having two upward force there, ROC and what? ROD. Means ROC plus ROD. This downward force is there. going to be what? Negative. Minus 14, minus 21 equals to what? Zero. So it means ROC plus ROD. Minus 14, minus 21 is what? Is what? Minus 35, which is equal to zero. So which means ROC plus ROD plus ROD will be equal to, this one come back here, 35 equation 1. So the next thing, the next thing now, the next thing is to take moment. Let's take our moment, clockwise moment, about C. Be equals to what? 0. So if we take our moment like that, it means we are going to have how many force left? 1, 2, 3. So don't forget, downward force will produce the what? Clockwise moment. Clockwise moment. Why is it going produce what? Anticlockwise moment. You get that? So now, if it is like that, it means let's start with this minus RD, minus RD times the distance that it covers. The distance from here to here is what? 7. Plus, let's start with this one now. 21. 21 times the distance it covers. You know, this is a uniform distributed law and the distance that it covers is what? 4.7. So from here to here is what? You can see it. 4.7. So it's going to be uh, 21 times 4.7 plus the distance this one covers is what? 3.5. From here to here is 3.5. So 14 times 3. 14 times 3.5, which is equal to what? 0. I hope you are following. So now, this and this is minus 7 RD plus 4.7, 21 times 4.7 plus 21 times 4.7 plus 14.3. Point your calculator and sum them together. You are going to get what? You are going to get. 147 147.7 147.7 equals to what? 0 So now you know the next step is to bring this on back here So we are going to have minus 7 ROD equals to what? You know to come here to be 0 minus 147.7 which is still what? Minus 147.7 So this we cancel this Then ROD will be equals to 147.7 all over 7. If you punch your calculator, you are going to get what? You are going to get ROD. ROD to be equals to what? 21.1. 21.1. So, and your answer is what? Kilo Newton. You get that. So now, the next thing we are going to do is to get our what? ROC. ROC. ROC, yes. So we go back to our equation one. You know this is our equation one. From our equation one, we have ROC plus ROD to be equals to what? 35. So ROC will be equals to 35 minus what? ROD. So which is 35 minus ROD. ROD is what? 21.1. So if you subtract this, 35 minus 21.1 is nothing but what? 13. Point nine kilo newton. So we've gotten our answer. So you see that our ROC, when we get it, is a positive answer. It means our assumption is correct. It means our assumption. I mean it is negative. It means that this should be a what downward force. Do you get that? So now that is all about the first part. The second part now. We are going to draw the B again. We are going to draw the downward beam now, which will be in this form. Let me draw it here for you so you see it clearly. So let's take this like this. This is a roller support here. 
So you know that support we are going to have downward force, uh, sorry, vertical force only. It's already in. So I just want to, I just want to bring down this downward one. That's what I just want to do. So, you know, I hope I'm not confusing you. So now, I have a upward force here, this one. Now, this arrow C now, you know, we've gotten our arrow C and we pick upward force. And our assumption is correct. And ROC is nothing but what? ROC is nothing but 13.9. So it means that uh, since I've taken, uh, since I've taken <coughs> for the first one, when I saw, since I've taken it as upward, so it means if I'm to draw this one, it's going to be what? Downward. I hope you get that. So it means it's going to be downward here. So now here yeah, I'm going to have arrow B. We are going to have H B. I hope you get that. So we have 3 kilonewton here. We are having the distance which is 3 meter. This one is 1 meter. This one is 3 meter. And our ROC here, we've gotten the answer to be what? 13.9. 13.9 kilonewton. I hope you get that. Please take note of this inch. Anywhere you see in this are you saw there, please. And if you don't, if you have any question concerning this, you can drop your, uh, <coughs> you can drop your uh, question in the comment section. I'm going to reply immediately. So now, the next thing we do, we we'll just all the steps we follow here, we we'll follow it here. We we'll arrive at our answer. So don't forget that this one will be our what A. You get that. So. And then uh, this one is my C. This is A. This is what? B. Hope you get that. <clears throat> Just like labeling the thing for you. Uh, this one is C. Why this one is what? D. Okay. So now let's take summation of. Uh, let's take this to be positive. Summation of horizontal force equals to zero. Do we have any of the Yes, we have. So this one is. Going like it's going to be minus hd equals to zero and hd is still equals to what zero how do you get this so now the next thing is to take upward force at this vertical force this is my coordinate summation of y equals to what zero it means summation of upward force should be zero i uh, thought should be equals to, uh, should be positive y down force should be what negative so it means r a plus r b minus theory minus 13.9 is equal to what? Zero. So, ROA plus ROB minus uh, theory minus 13.9 minus theory minus 13.9 is what? 16.9. So, minus 16.9. When it cross to the other side, it becomes what? Positive. 16.9 equation what? Y. So, now, the next thing the next thing is to take my moment. The next thing is to take moment. And we take moment. We take moment about what? A. We take our moment about A. We take our moment about A. We take our moment about A. Summation of A should be equal to what? Zero. So when I put my hand here, how many force? We have one, two, and three. So now, it means that uh, <coughs> this is clockwise moment. This one will give a clockwise moment. Clockwise, why this one will give us anti-clockwise moment? So let's start from here. This one will be minus ROD, ROB times the total distance. What is the total distance? Total distance is what? Seven. Seven. You can see from the distance, the total distance of this beam, of the down, of this down will be three plus one plus three is what? Seven. So now, the next one is positive now because they'll give us a what clockwise moment. So which is 13.9 times the distance is covered, which is 4. So it's going to be 13.9 times 4 plus theory times the distance is covered, which is what theory, which is equal to what zero. So this one is going to be minus 7 ROB plus 13.9 times 4 plus uh, theory times theory. If you sum them together, you are going to get 64.6 64.6 equals to zero. 
up you are getting that. So now if you take this one to the other side, it becomes negative. And as ROB equals to minus 64.6. So this negative cancel this. ROB will be equals to 64.6 divided by 7. And uh, 64.6 divided by 7 is nothing but what? 9.323. 9.23 no, Newton. So now the next thing is to get our what? Is to get our ROA. Then we'll come back here from equation one. ROA plus ROB is equal to 16.9. So ROA will be equal to 16.9 minus ROB, which is equal to 16.9 minus 9.2. How to get this? Uh, if you do that, 16.9 minus uh, uh, 9.23 is 7.7 the newton. So ROA is equal to 7.7 lo newton. Here hence the calculation. I hope uh, the, this thing is interesting. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, please don't forget to share this video to those who might be in need of it. Your friends studying engineering courses uh, in various institutions, please share to them uh, just for the purpose of knowledge. Thank you. Uh, we'll move to example two.